Pueblo's Mesa Drive-In, one of five operable drive-in theaters in the state of Colorado, has opened its doors for the spring season with its new toys. There are three new digital projectors needed for the industry's digital conversion. Mesa Drive-In manager Mark Lovato gave the Pueblo Chieftain a behind-the-scenes tour of the drive-in's new operation. These are our new Christie projectors that we just got this year for um, digital cinema. Uh, it's no longer film anymore for the movies, but... Uh, the technology is really cool, new thing that we're having a lot of fun with, and the picture and quality of sound is more than we would imagine we were going to have. You know, we got these projectors uh, the, about three weeks, four weeks ago. Uh, got them installed, and I had about a three day, four days to play with them before we actually got on screen with customers. These machines get really hot. One with the bulb itself is hot, but um, they have a, a small radiator and a water pump in them that cools the machine down as it's running. With the projectors itself, it was, you know, it was the lamp house shining light through film. Well, there's no more film. This is all, it's, it's mirrors and light. It's more physics than it is a, like a movie projector. Uh, inside there, there's a mirror. It's like about that big. And inside that, there's nine million small mirrors, microscopic mirrors on hinges that, that flutter for your light. And that directs the light through different uh, prisms inside there and causes the light to actually go to the screen. So, I mean, it's pretty intense. <laughs> The industry's conversion from film to digital has changed how projectionists like Mark do their jobs, and film buffs like him lose an emotional, physical connection with the film. Uh, before, you know, I get a box with reels of film, and I take them, splice them together, and build up a movie with trailers on it. With this, I had to learn how to put the, uh, ingest the movie into the machine, which comes on a cartridge like this. You know, you ingest it into the machine, and it downloads all the information. And then you go through and you build uh, a playlist. And it's kind of like when you do iTunes, you're building the playlist, you're building the CD. Um, and you, that's how you build up your movies instead of actually splicing and building it real to real. Like I said, I, I miss the film because you can actually touch the movie. You have hands on. This is just pushing buttons, you know. On the ground, though, the experience is still much the same for filmgoers who get to partake in Mesa's cook to order snack bar and family friendly atmosphere. Um, so this is the snack bar. Uh, we do have a, a full grill and fryer. Uh, we sell hamburgers, hot dogs, chicken strips, cheese sticks, nachos, french fries, curly fries, um, stuff you can't really get at an indoor theater. You can't go order a nice juicy hamburger or cheeseburger at an indoor theater to walk in. The drive-in is an experience. You go, you can bring the family, you can have dinner and watch a movie. It's just kind of a family thing every, you know, every weekend or when we, when we can. I mean, it's just a kind of a family tradition, you know. It's nice to come out here to the movies, you know, being able to uh, watch two two flicks, you know, for the uh, price of one. You know, it's 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 a family time. Because I mean, we're a family of five, soon to be six, so it just makes more sense for us to come here. And it's just kind of more like cozy, I guess, because you get to like snuggle in the back seat of your car, the van, or the truck. And it's just more of a family bonding time than going to the theater where you guys sit in a straight row and you can't even talk to each other during the movie. Here, at least the kids can laugh, talk, play, and eat their snacks. As is a drive-in tradition, it gives families a chance to put kids in their jammies, cuddle up with their parents, and watch their favorite movies. My favorite movie is Bad Frozen. <laughs> Mr. Peabody and Sherman. It's fine. I like to go in and it's fine. And <laughs> As one of the longest continuous drive-ins in the United States, Lovato explains that Mesa Drive-In got its start in 1951 and was saved from closure in 1994. Uh, this drive-in was built in 1951 as a single screen theater, uh, originally built to hold a thousand cars. Um, it's been going since 1951, it's never gone dark. In 1994, the owners Chuck and Mary Ann James bought the place and they saved it um, as a week out from being demolished. Uh, we went from, like I said, a single screen, now we have the three screens. Uh, screen one, screen two, and screen three is back there. With the snack spot and the sun going down, all that's left is for the movie to start, which is a much different process than it used to be with film. Okay, to start the movie, what I do is I select my show list, which is Rio Two and Peabody, and I open it up, go to playback, 
push play, and we're on the screen. With the previous closure of three other Pueblo drive-ins over the years, the Mesa drive-in has emerged as one of the hidden crown jewels for the community, and Lovato says the people are eager to support it. You know, like I said before, Pueblo, this is Pueblo's drive-in, and they, they treat it like it is. Uh, every year we have the same people coming out year after year. Um, they love the place, and their support was one of the main reasons that we said, okay, we got to save this place. We got to go digital because we can't let these people down.